Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. And today we're gonna to take a look at the YouTube application because there's a lot of helpful swipes and gestures and things that you can do that can make YouTube experience maybe just a little bit better, a little bit easier to use. Maybe you swiped on the screen, you didn't really know what happened, something popped up. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that you're able to do other than just hitting that like button and also hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So first off, we wanna talk about one of the things that you actually just got done seeing and that is me swiping up and swiping down on just this view. So you're starting right here, you opened up your video, and then maybe there's something else you wanna take a, a look at. There's something that you have seen. If you swipe down, it's gonna minimize it. It's still playing, you can still hear it, you can still watch it, and then you can go back and you can take a look at whatever you would like to take a look at. Then when you swipe it back up, it's able to go all the way right back up. Now from here, what you can do is instead of swiping down, if you're to swipe up, it'll actually just make it larger. So this way you'd be able to just spin it, and then now you're able to watch it. And it makes it sometimes easier to do. Yes, you do have the auto rotate on and maybe it takes a couple extra seconds for it to happen and you know for a fact that you are about to just rotate it really quick. There's something that you're doing, you just swipe up on the video, boom, here we go. It's our, you know, automatically rotated for us so we're already going with the orientation. The next thing that you can also do is that you can actually skim through and you can kind of skip ahead and you can change whatever this duration is. So let's say that something's happening, you already know what, you know, what to do. You can just do a little simple double tap on either the left or right side and it's going to skip the 10 seconds. And then if you keep skipping longer and longer, it's gonna go quicker or a little bit further on. So you can see how I went a total of 90 seconds. So if I tap, 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 there's 60. So it's gonna keep on adding up. If you know that maybe you just wanna see something, you know, maybe around the six minute mark or whatever. Whatever. it's a quicker way that you're able to get it done. Now this is already set up for you out of the box. It is a 10 second skip either forward or back. You keep on tapping, it's gonna go by those 10 seconds. But you wanna go to your, the main homepage where you see your icon on the top right hand side. Then you're gonna go down to where it says settings. Now inside of the settings, you just wanna go inside of general. Now inside of general, this is where, you know, there's a few things you can play with, take a look at. But here's that double tap to seek. You can make it five seconds. So maybe 10 seconds, a little bit too long sometimes. Um, or maybe you wanna go even a little bit further. You got 15 second skip. You have 20, 30, and 60 second skip. Now I highly suggest uh, to not use any of these down here. You're gonna miss a lot of a video. What you're gonna wanna play with is maybe the 10 second and the five second. Cause sometimes you just wanna skip, you know, five seconds, that's good enough. Uh, or maybe the 10 second, again, that this one's by default. So maybe it's for a reason. But yeah, this is where you're able to change that double tap to seek. And then whenever you go back to some video, uh, this is where, again, you just be able to double tap on the left or on the right, you're able to skip ahead of it. Uh, now, it does also still work in portrait mode. So let's say that you're watching a video up here. Let's just wait for the ads to go through. And through here, again, you just want to go on the right hand side. This is where you're able to skip those 10 seconds or go back 10 seconds. So we talked about what you're able to do with it being in a smaller screen with all the swipes. I showed you what you can do with the larger screen with the swipes. And so now I'm going to show you what you can see maybe towards the bottom. Now you can still navigate a video on the very bottom just by swiping on the timeline. And this little section right here, these things are called chapters. So you can see beneath my video and all my descriptions, I always write timelines or timestamps. So they used to be called timestamps. They also used to be called chapters. I'm just staying with timestamps because I'm just giving you time uh, of what is going on with a little title. You can kind of see what's happening in the video. Uh, another way that you can also see this too is that let's say that you tap on the screen uh, at any point, and then you see this little arrow and this little word. Now, when you tap on that, now it's gonna show you all of the different timestamps on the right-hand side. And then what you could do is you could tap on it and it's gonna take you directly there. So if you don't wanna go through the timeline, you're able to get it done you know, this way. Again, all you have to do to access this is by tapping on the screen. And as long as they have timestamps, you can tap on this and it's gonna open it up so you can see a little thumbnail of that little timestamp that was written. And then you're able to go right back to whatever you were watching. So you tap on this, it's gonna take you right back there. Now also in this view where you're taking a look at all the chapters, you might see a couple different icons right here. What these icons are is that you're able to basically loop or just keep on repeating this chapter right here. Maybe this is an audio book or something on a, you know, some other video. You might not need to do it on this type of content here, unless if you need to see what I'm doing specifically several times. So you do have the repeat on, or you can turn it off and you also have share at this point. So if you want to share something with somebody at a certain point in a video, you hit on that share button that it's going to share the video at this timestamp so that they can watch it at exactly the right moment rather than watching the full entire video. So here we are in this larger screen. And as you remember, if you're 
here in the big screen, you swipe down, it's gonna make it small. Um, but what I wanna do is what happens when you swipe up. Now, when you swipe up, this is where you're able to turn on the notifications for all of the, you know, every notification for everything and also hit on that subscribe button as well for this channel. But here is some of the other videos that I have created. I don't know where that one came from, but here is some of these videos that you can also go through uh, and you can watch if you are enjoying my content here from Jimmy's promo. There's gonna be a bunch of other videos that you can go through. Uh, and really, when you tap on the screen, it'll actually even say you say it right here. Uh, you can tap on this right here to see more, um, or you'd be able to simply swipe up and see all of this stuff. So yeah, it's pretty fun to go through YouTube and actually swipe up, swipe down, see what happens, touch a few things, you know, play around with the timeline. Also tap on this. It's gonna show up the chapters on the right-hand side. You know, if you wanted this one to go back and, you know, into a smaller view, you swipe down. If you wanna go this one into a smaller view, you can even bring it down there too. If you want this to be bigger, you just bring it bigger. There's a lot of really cool things you can do. And even another thing you can do here is you can do a, a zoom to fill. So this one, you know, was kind of a big deal. Some people love the fact that you can just fill the entire screen. Right now there is black bars on the left and the right. If you do this, it does kind of cut off a little bit of the video, but now you're just kind of making it bigger. So for some videos, this may work well, some others it may not. And if you have Samsung, you're able to go in even further. Uh, so this right here is like eight time zoom and that's the most zoom you can do. So if you're watching a video and maybe you got to pause it, maybe you want to take a look at a cricket or a grasshopper or, or a fish, or uh, maybe it's a star, whatever the case may be, you are now here able to zoom in even further rather than just the original and the zoom to fill. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys here in this video. So that is pretty much all the swipes that you're able to do on the smalls, the bigs, uh, how you can kind of navigate around all that good stuff. And if you also wanted to see where my timestamps are, it is in the more then you have to open up more again. The timestamps are right here. You are able to tap any of these. They will work, take you over there, but built into the player itself, you know, this is gonna maybe be the better option. So this way you can see exactly what's up and coming and maybe something that you would rather watch instead of what you're watching at the current point in time. And as example, this video that you're watching right now also has timestamps that you can play with and test out. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.